Hello, I am Orion, and this is Cassie. And today I'm going to be covering one of my personal favorite areas of supplementation, because it essentially affects your quality of life, and that is brain supplementation. Now, when I say brain supplementation, I'm not trying to say that there's something wrong with how your brain is currently functioning, or that it even needs improvement. But, by giving it specific substances, by uh, supplements, herbs, vitamins, you can allow it to function to its fullest potential. Kind of similar to how your car is running just fine now, but if you were to add a turbocharger, it'd probably perform a little bit better. Similar with your brain. Now, the benefits to a proper functioning brain are many-fold. Biggest one is clarity of thought. You can simply think, which sa doesn't sound important until you realize that that is the basis of your entire life, is your thought process, how quickly you think, how quickly you understand, memory, recall, retention, the ability of you to take the, what I'm saying to you right now, set it in your memory, keep it there, understand it. I mean, there's, what is it? a quadrillion neurological connections in your brain. And just allowing those to function properly is a, the main goal of your body under certain modes of thought. At any given point in time, your brain will be taking between 30 and 60 percent of all available energy that your body produces just to keep itself running which is a lot of energy, which is why, if you think about it, people with a mentally draining job, a mentally intensive job, could come home at the end of the day and be more tired than somebody who has a physically demanding job for the fact that, well, their brain was using even more energy than the muscles were using from somebody, like I said, who has a physical job. Now, a good way to illustrate how a brain has or functions. To, and of course it's different for everybody, but my favorite analogy is that of a window. Now you have a window from your house that you look out of and you remember when it was a beautiful view. It was perfectly clear, the grass was green, the trees were green, the sky was vividly blue, and you look out of it now and you're just like, why isn't it what I remember? It used to be more vivid, it used to be more real, and it just isn't anymore. Well, then you wash the window and suddenly you're like, oh, it wasn't the window, it wasn't the view, it was the window that was dirty. Same way with your brain. Just by washing it, basically letting it function proper full, full, uh, to its full potential, you are able to really reap the benefits and just enjoy the view once again. Now there are three basic, at least as far as I'd like to classify them, three basic types of supplementation to allow for full brain potential. The first one is addressing nutritional deficiencies, which is kind of the most important because of the fact that, well, if you're, you could enhance your brain or stimulate your brain, but if it doesn't have what it needs to function properly, either it's going to steal it from somewhere else in your body or it's just going to burn itself out and you'll be even more tired than when you first started. So some good ones there are your B vitamins, the basic energy production vitamins for your body. Uh, B6 and B12 primarily are the ones most people think of when they think of, you know, energy for your body. B12 shots uh, is, are very popular for giving you a boost, generally paired with caffeine because they both help stimulate. Uh, selenium is one that's popping up a lot for just general energy throughout your entire body. Uh, magnesium is a big one because 95% of people are magnesium deficient, uh, zinc as well. Now the next type would be supplementing specific molecules or amino acids to allow your brain to function better. Amino acids are the building block for messengers, for regulators throughout your body and specifically in your brain. Uh, good ones for mental function to supplement in that are needed are taurine and tyrosine. And another one that's really very nice is called theanine. It's an amino acid from green tea that gives it its calming and its uh, kind of uh, insightful effect, I guess you would say. You also have your uh, amino acid, or your neurotransmitter precursor, choline, 
uh, precursor to acetylcholine. And then there's the actual fat molecules that go into the cell walls in your brain, such as phosphatidylserine, or PS. That is one of the molecules that allows energy transmission from inside to outside of the cell membrane. And then another one which most people have heard of is coenzyme Q10, which is involved in the Krebs cycle, which is how your body produces energy. And, well, with your brain producing as much energy, needing as much energy as it does, obviously coenzyme Q10 production, or supplementation, is a big factor for allowing your brain to have enough energy to function. And now the last one, which unfortunately is the first one most people go to, is the stimulant-based effects. Obviously, most popular one ever, caffeine. How many people are tired in the morning and they can't function properly until they get their coffee? Well, more than likely, it's not that they need their coffee, it's that their body is starved for certain nutrients and they're just covering up that deficiency with the stimulant-based effect of caffeine. Not a problem with caffeine, except when you're using it as that cover. It's kind of like your gas gauge is empty in your car, and as opposed to filling up the tank, you simply put a piece of paper over it and saying, hey, I'm good to floor it all I want to. That's where the crash comes from. Once the caffeine's effect wears off, you have your real energy level exposed. But, once again, caffeine's not a bad one if used in moderation. Another really popular one, ginseng. It's a very energizing herb uh, used for thousands of years for energy tonic, vitality tonic, uh, sexual tonic throughout all of Asia. And once again, B12 is almost a stimulating vitamin. Uh, it's a deficiency slash stimulant effect. So taken in high enough dosage, you get a nice little perk off of supplementing it in. Now, all of those different products. You can take individually, see the effects from, but you'd be taking 15 pills on a once or twice a day basis just to get all those individual ones in, which, well, some people like to do that because they like to know exactly how much of every single one they're having and change it out different days, but that's kind of arduous and would take a lot of money. So my preferred method is going with certain products that have a combination or a blend of them and decently high amounts. Uh, one thing you want to watch out for in products is when they will include just enough to ha say they have something in there, but not enough to have a clinically studied effect or not enough to actually do anything. It's kind of like if an energy drink only had 10 milligrams of caffeine. Well, that's about one sip of a cup of coffee, not really much to do energy-wise. So there are a few products I'd like to share with you that have a lot of benefit to me personally. Now, uh, the one that I originally took to start me out was called Doctor's Best, is the brand name, and they're natural brain enhancers. It was a very simple product. It only had two molecules, phosphatidylserine and glycerophosphatidylcholine. Now, those two pair very nicely because it allows energy transmission from inside to outside of the cell walls with the phosphatidylserine. And the glycerophosphocholine is the precursor to your brain's neurotransmitter of acetylcholine, so it gives you more messengers to send at the same time. Now, the reason why that product is so phenomenal is its amazing safety. Those two molecules your body produces on a daily basis to enable your brain to function. By supplementing them in, you're simply aiding your body in its proper functioning. And unlike uh, supplementing in of hormones such as testosterone, you, that's a messenger, these are merely building blocks. Your body just grabs what store there is in your bloodstream and puts them when it needs to. So you're not subverting your body's natural mechanisms, you're simply aiding it. And that gave me amazing clarity of thought. Uh, just, it felt like everything was easier. I was having my A-game days in a row every time I took it, and I loved that product. And after a while, I tried experimenting, did some other stuff, uh, added in uh, vimpocetine and ginkgo biloba, which are vasodilators, very nice because they increase blood flow to your brain, give you more nutrients throughout the day, so it enables your brain to have more functions at any given time. And several months after I had originally discovered the brain, the natural brain enhancers, I found uh, more my absolute favorite product in the store, which is Neuro One. Neuro One is a drink mix. I, it has a few different flavors. I would highly recommend going with the chocolate, best tasting one that I found. And Neuro One is nice because it gives you pretty much every single product that is good for your brain in the one product that it is itself. 
And unlike a lot of others, it has efficacious doses, meaning it gives you substantial doses. There's a total of seven grams worth of supplements in Neuro One, plus minerals and vitamins and some caffeine. And a big one, which some people are actually asking me, like, why do they have it in there, is sugar. They have 10 grams of sugar. Well, your brain needs carbohydrates for proper functioning, so it gives you those as well. And I cannot tell you how amazed I am at my brain's ability when I am on Neuro One. I have never experienced anything as dramatic. If you've seen the movie Limitless, it almost feels like that, where suddenly your brain is just going, but as opposed to the pharmaceutical worrisome, it just is doing something artificial. This is not doing anything artificial. It's enabling your brain to function at its fullest capacity due to giving you the vitamins, giving you those molecules, giving you some minor stimulus, just things that are naturally helpful to your brain's functioning all in one product. And honestly, out of every product I've ever had, this one is my favorite for the effect it gives me, and I would love to recommend that you give it a try. It is a little expensive, usually around $40, but you get 30 servings, and those 30 servings are by and far the best investment monetarily I think I have ever made, because my quality of life has gone up due to this product. Literally, my quality of life, my personal time, my work time, my going to the gym time, everything about my life is easier now because my brain functions. So that would be my personal recommendation for a product to try if you ever wanted to try anything from any of my little web blogs. And just want to say thank you once again for viewing this. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I wish you a amazingly happy and healthy day. Thanks.